Yes, um, we are Zotetis uh, from Johannesburg in South Africa. Um, it has actually started with my wife, who has been actually following up through the Facebook on uh, Prophet uh, TB Joshua. And uh, yes, I had my reservations with the prophetic churches because I'm basically coming from the Catholic background. And, uh, but with the understanding at home and uh, people of our calibre, we were very, very lucky in our lives and um, blessed in every corner. And uh, till things actually started going south. And um, that was when my wife actually came with an idea that uh, this can't be just uh, happening like this. We can't just be losing everything, we're losing businesses, we losing everything. And uh, even properties that we had, we sold them in order to invest in some other energy management services, business, and that thing is not coming together. And uh, she said, look, we need divine intervention. Luckily for her, she, my wife is a prayer warrior. She actually wakes up at 12 midnight praying, and uh, she's got dreams also, which she shares with me, and that actually got me worried when she tells me about some of the dreams that she was dreaming about. And probably she can relate to, to those few dreams that happened, and uh, I started realizing that, look, I can't be listening to my fellow brothers who are in business, who are, who are t telling me that, no, we can check these things on the African way, <laughs> you know, as a man. Sometimes you think that that is the way. And yeah, coming to, to, to her, she is the one actually who has been trying to, 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 to go to church uh, in Nigeria, at the synagogue. And um, of course there's been some delays and there's some pro pro processes that you need to follow up. And um, just on, when was it? When she told me that, no, look, we are going to Paraguay. Just like I didn't know it was a surprise. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. As my husband has said, we are compelled to duty. Um, actually, um, I don't know what to say. I'm still overwhelmed. This whole experience has been just, I don't know, I can't put my finger on it, but it's just amazing, amazing, amazing. Like, it's like we just had a meeting with Jesus Christ himself. You know, the atmosphere was amazing. You walk in that place and everything just changes from the tip of your hair to the bottom of your feet. It's just amazing, amazing, amazing. And the funny thing is, we were not planning on coming. It was not in my books to come mm -hmm. at this time. We had other plans. Actually, I was supposed to go with my mother to go to, to Skoen, to Nigeria. But because of the process, you get screened and all those sort of things. So we were waiting, waiting, waiting. And I thank the Lord because through experiences, I learned to, learn, to wait on the Lord. I used to do my thing. I want this and I want it done now, this way. But now I've learned, like, I need to come and see if this is what the Lord wants me to do. Because if it is what the Lord wants me to do, even though it's not going to be easy, but the Lord give me the grace to endure it until the end. And then the funny thing is, when you do like that, as you go towards the journey, it's just, it's just so satisfying to see, oh, this is what the Lord wanted me to do and how he wanted me to do it, you know? So anyways, even though when we came here, we met another lady at the airport. She canceled her flight date due to someone who was supposed to come and then they end up not coming and then we end up meeting her and she was so excited to meet us. We happy to meet her because as we were talking, the journey is just, it was just like a, a thing that was planned from the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. Everything just went smoothly. When we got to the stadium, we, we met a lot of people, everybody that we met there, it was just like, like it was meant to be. We started talking, like we were talking the day before, we are just getting on from where we, so the Lord is just amazing. I'm still in awe of what the Lord is doing and I truly, 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 truly believe as a Christian, we really need to just uh, become close to the Holy Spirit because it guides us and when we go like that, our journey is just going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing because I've learned if we take the route 
the Lord wants us to, to take. It's just going to be amazing. Whatever I've planned for my day, it's never going to be as good as what the Lord wants for my life. Yep. Amen to that. Mm, amen. They are literally no black people. <laughs> so you're walking around, you're like, okay, okay, okay. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, go to the shop, there's no one. No one, no black people. No so black people as we are walking, we see him. I was like ecstatic. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, hello. And then I went towards him and he's like, okay. I'm like, sorry, it's just the first time I'm seeing a black people. Ever since, a person, ever since I got you on Tuesday, we saw him on, when was it, yesterday? Yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. yeah. So we're like, hi, how are you? We're actually going to the stadium. He's like, yeah, I've seen the post, but he was, he was, he was not keen. Eh? So he's like, he was a gentleman. Eh? Cause he's like, okay, let me show you the route. You can go this way, go this way. And he actually walked us until the stadium. So as we were passing, I'm like, okay, you must come. He looked at us. And he's like, I'm like, like seriously, you must come. You, you must come. Just check it out. If you don't believe, just come and see it. What, what do you have to lose? You know, because he said, I don't have plans. So he came with us. Well, and before, before coming, in, in fact, uh, just to remind both, he, he was asking us, who's uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua? Is he not a fake prophet? And uh, he said, is, no, is he not one of those fake prophets? And he said, no, you come and see for yourself. And we never thought he was going to follow us because he was saying that he's rushing home uh, to take a bath and all those things. And, uh, as we're sitting down there waiting for the case to open, boom, there's Stephen coming, a guy from Haiti, and there's the Gayos in, 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 in Paraguay. It was, so, it was so nice that he actually went to where we were, because there's so many gates in the stadium, about yeah. four or mm -hmm. five, but he came to where we it were, and we were God's looking hand. at his direction. It was all God's hand that he came straight to us, and somebody that you met on the streets, we saw him coming, we, we couldn't believe it. What, what did you feel when you saw his manifestation throughout the day? Look, the, the church that we used to go to, we were experiencing not the first time. It, it, what we what we experienced with Steve was not the first time. It was, we, we were so lucky that many a times God reveals to new people coming to our church. And um, we'll discuss it, about it and she will say, so and so was new. I said, Yeah, that person is new. I invited him. I greeted him and he told me this is the first time he comes to church. So, many times God shows us those people that need to be brought closer to, to him. And um, we, 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 with Steve, as much as we, we, we didn't have the background that he's, not, he's a non believer, of course, it was the question that he was asking about the prophet TB Joshua was uh, between a fake prophet and a real prophet, that's all. We actually, during your presence, mm -hmm. we had it from the first time when he was opening up, confessing, and mm -hmm. stuff. And I was actually excited that we actually meet someone who's an unbeliever. Mm -hmm. That makes me so, so happy. It's nice to meet other believers, but what is the point of us being believers, you know, if you're gonna hang out together, you know, because Every day someone comes in and asks questions and become a believer after that conversation. That's why we're here. You know, we should just bring as many souls as we can, you know. So I, I remember telling my husband as we came back to the hotel, I was like, wow, you know what? We got one person, Angel Rejoice. I even told you that Angel Rejoice is now because we've actually got this one person. We didn't plan it. We just thought, oh, everybody's a believer there, but it turns out he wasn't. Mm -hmm. And the question was asking, they were just, they were just so like, wow, Lord, this is why we are here, hey? This is because, you know, as you can imagine, the, a lot of people come there, come for healing and all sort of things. But then sometimes you don't really find someone who can explain, thinking that this is a, like, there's no English here. He had to meet us to explain. Because mm -hmm. imagine if he didn't meet us and he comes there, he has questions and can't really understand very well. You know, it was just, it was just the hand of God. And the way we met, the route we took, you know, like we met him right there, crossroad, like boom, he was there. You know, for a second there I thought, <laughs> you know, be careful you entertain myself, entertain angels. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my goodness, I was so happy actually, I was so happy. Yes. But you played a very critical role as well, because you brought the Bible along and uh, everything just went smooth. And 
God provided every answers for, for, for Steve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We spoke about it last night as we came back because uh, he was mentioning that how you were answering him through the Bible. And I was like, actually, I never thought about it that way, but that's actually very good because yeah. it is our map. Mm -hmm. how we live life you know mm -hmm. sometimes people find it difficult sometimes people ask you but why you do this why you do that no, 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 no. you just open the bible you know that we, you shouldn't be ashamed mm -hmm. like this is the bible says mm -hmm. this is our, we are supposed to live according to the bible mm -hmm. so the way you were answering him and showing him there i'm thinking mm -hmm. if this guy lives there and goes to buy a bible mm -hmm. if ever he has a question he will read and read and read and he will get all his answers mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. yes oh. Um, I've, I've learned a lot from you guys today, uh, or this weekend. Um, it was a pleasure in meeting you all. You have made my weekend um, such an amazing uh, weekend. Uh, I couldn't have asked more for more, and I thank you for your time today. No, it was a pleasure. Yeah, would you like to close on anything about the, the visit with TB Joshua in, this, in your experience? Oh, on my side, you know. I'm, I'm so happy because she's been talking about him and I've been following uh, Emmanuel TV also at home and uh, I was also looking forward to, to share the, the, the atmosphere with him which has happened. Um, yes, his hand will just be a, 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 a cherry on top. I've experienced, I've walked, actually where he was sharing the, the stadium and uh, I'm, I'm feeling so rejuvenated. Uh, I can tell you that um, it's a new discovery in my life. And the way he preaches his sermon is so self-explanatory, it's unbelievable. It's just like you, as if you're talking to God himself. I'm very, very proud of this opportunity. My wife actually, as much as she surprised me about it, um, Yes, I knew that I, was looking, uh, I needed a delivery. Uh, of course, he, he once when I, I, I once uh, read also uh, on the YouTube on uh, Prophet uh, T. B. Joshua's uh, sermon uh, with us business people that we only go to to, to him to revive our businesses and <laughs> so, and uh, but yeah, with my wife on on, uh, on my side and I, I've learned that any business without God actually. It's just a business, it's just going to be a failure. Amen. And hence I'm preparing and I can assure you from now on, I will devote my, my life, my, my businesses, future businesses to, to God himself. Amen. 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 Uh, what I've learned, what I've learned, you know, we learn every day. You know this walk, it's, uh, it's full of surprises and God does his thing and I've just learned to listen more, say to my heart, wake up and just say, Lord, I give you my, my today, my every moment. You lead me, you guide me. Um, because if you do that, and then because, you know, God can't do much here on earth if he can't use us. So we are his uh, hands, we are his feet, we are his mouth, mouthpiece. So if you I wake up and I say, Lord, I'm here, I'm ready. You know, it will, the day will just be even satisfying to me at the end of the day, even though it was not the day that I've planned. You know, at the end of the day, you will just rejoice and say, wow, I'm so happy I listened to the Holy Spirit guiding me, leading me. You know, and Prophet Sibi Joshua emphasizes this thing that's clear our hearts. You know, I even told you yesterday that being a Christian, you know, it's, um, uh, um, it's quite a journey. Hey? You need the Holy Spirit next to you. Because, you know, don't take offense, clear your heart, because your heart is where the Lord stays. So everything and every time you take something and you put it in this space. So now the Lord is a jealous God. You can't share a space with anybody. So what happened at that moment now, I walk outside and someone gives me that look and I'm like, ah, who do you think you are? At that second, the Lord Jesus Christ, the creator of heaven and earth, the one who put words into existence is out now because I've taken this offense now. You know, you know when this is a jealous God, does it mean like jealous God don't bother to anything? Even that, that taking offense, you know, envy, jealousy, and all those sort of things. We must keep our heart as pure as we can, you know? So that's what I've learned. 
Amen.